Hi, my name is Yanus Gredinaro and I'm a senior software engineer at Tableau. Today we're going to discuss about a tool called Scout. Scout is a tool that calculates perceived end user performance and we use it internally for Tableau server measurements. So let's get this started. So as you see here, we have a, an interface to configure how to run Scout. The first thing that we're going to want to set here is the server that we're going to run against. For, the, for this specific demo, we're going to run a, against a local host. Installation of server. You can also run Scout against a list of URLs if you don't want to run against everything on your server. You can run it with uh, view mode or authoring in order if you want to make some changes. You can limit the view count um, of how many views would be uh, measured on the server. And uh, then you can also allow it to execute even when it cannot collect perfect instrumentation. You can um, Scout, Scout will go on the server and find all the content published there. And it's going to be able to find them in two ways, either by doing an alphabetical listing of all the views or going by popularity, the most number of hits. So for, the, for this demo, we're going to go most views and we're going to limit the run to five or so views. Um, here we, you can set the what flow to execute. This flow is more like a scenario. In this case, we're going to use all interactions, which means that all the interactions that are executable by Scout and are applicable in the current state of the workbooks are going to be executed. Also for this demo to not be too long, we're going to only run one iteration. We advise you to run multiple iterations, maybe five, six, or even more iterations to make sure that you eliminate outliers and you find more data. And we have here the output directory where the results are going to be um, saved. So let's get this started. Before um, jumping into the run itself, I want to say that the requirements for running Scout are very are quite low. So you need to have a Java 64-bit machine. You have a Tableau server uh, version more than 10. You need to have the latest version of Chrome. And um, yeah, the other thing that you need to have is web client metrics to be enabled on, on, the, on the server. We are going to have a blog post where we um, tell you how to you can enable that. As you see now, Scout already went on the server, found the list of all the workbooks that are um, published on this server, logged in on the server, and now it's going to start uh, loading the workbooks one by one and executing interactions. When I say interactions here, I mean um, different actions that are that a user can do. An action would be switching a tab. And another action could be uh, selecting some uh, marks, would be changing a categorical filter, changing a hierarchical filter uh, for, uh, for a map would be even zooming in. All these are what we call interactions. And these are the things that we measure. Um, in order for us to get the timings of all these interactions, we use a feature of the product we'll, called uh, Web Client Metrics. We discussed a little bit about it, that you need to have it enabled in order for Scout to run uh, properly. So this Web Client Metrics is going to give us a very good understanding of uh, how long each of the um, rendering and the processing takes. So we process this matrix, and in the end, we're going to have uh, performance information for you. Another thing that we're doing while uh, executing is we take screenshots. So for each single interaction, we're going to take a screenshot, which means that at the end, if there's going to be errors or uh, let's say one workbook was too, was taking too long to load, you can take a look at, at the screenshot. Maybe there was something wrong going on there. Another important thing to, to remember here is that 
uh, scout after loads a certain view, it's going to only execute the interactions that are available and executable in the current state of the of the workbook. And that uh, that makes it easy. So it, it's not going to try to do something that is illegal and produce errors. So if it finds um, tuples, it's going to do a select. If it finds uh, categorical filter, it's going to change it. And you see uh, our little um, run is done. And what we can do now, we can look here to see where the results are being saved. And we can go here and see the screenshots. We can see even more, uh, all the web client metrics that we were talking about. And um, let's open the result. Before looking at the result, I was saying that um, Scout understands the state of the Vs. Uh, of the workbook, of the dashboard. Um, and we do that by analyzing something called um, CRUST model. So that's uh, a data layer that the, the server is, uh, use, is using to talk with the, the browser. And that's how the product itself knows what to, what to render, when to render. So we plug in Scout in between this communication. And this is how we understand what Scout can do in the current state of the workbook. And um, here is our run. We have here the timing for uh, each of the interactions. Let me hide this. And then we have here uh, error summary. And as you see, there was no errors. We're going to go uh, more in depth into how to analyze um, the results when we're going to do in a future uh, demo, and in the demo we're probably going to do a longer run, so we can more we have more data to look at. So thanks a lot for listening. I hope this was helpful. We're going to have more information um, shortly after TC, and we hope you're excited about this tool. Thank you.